In this video, I will show you how to create a talking animated avatar using AI tools. The best part is that I will also teach you how to modify the voice to sound like an anime character or any other style. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully animated custom avatar with a personalized voice. Let's get started. The first step is to create the avatar, and for that, we will use Focus. You have two options. You can either install it on your computer or use the free Google Colab version. Both links are provided in the description below. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through using the Colab version. First, navigate to Focus Colab. Once there, you need to copy it to your Google Drive so everything runs directly from your drive. Click on the down arrow, then select Change Runtime, and make sure that the T4 GPU is selected. This step is crucial for faster processing. After selecting the GPU, click Save. Next, click the play button to start the script. The script will begin running, and in about three minutes, it will complete the processing. Once finished, a link to open Focus will appear in the console. This link will end with gradio.live. Click on this link, and it will redirect you to the Focus interface. For better user experience, I suggest switching to the dark theme. This will make the interface easier on your eyes, especially if you are working for extended periods. With the avatar creation process set up, we can move on to the next steps. Here we are in the Focus dashboard. The first step is to enable Advanced, which will open a panel on the right. In the Presets section, select Anime. In the Style tab, you can change the style of the image you want. The first three options will already be selected. The base model, Anima Pencil XL, will be selected by default. Next, update the aspect ratio as needed. With that, the setup is complete. Now I'll copy and paste a prompt that typically generates great results and click on Generate. The second image looks great, but the eyes could be improved. To do this, select Input Image, then go to InPaint or OutPaint and drag the image down. Lower the number of images generated to one. Select Improve Face Detail and in the additional prompt, write Beautiful Eyes, then click Generate. This should enhance the eyes significantly. Once you're satisfied with the image, just download it and you're done. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot to me. Now let's learn how to generate a female avatar. To do this, update the prompt to include the word woman. You can also add beautiful and increase the number of images to four. Then click on generate. It will produce four beautiful images, but I'll show you how to change some details if you want something different from the prompt. To customize the avatar, you can add any attributes you want, like white hair and blue eyes. Simply update the prompt with these details and click Generate again. Once the generation is complete, you will have four great images. If you want to include a microphone in the photo, follow these steps. Enable Input Image, go to the InPaint or OutPaint tab and drag and drop the image down. Clear any existing inpainting and paint the shape of a microphone where you want it. Next, change the drop-down selection to Modify Content and write Microphone in the prompt box. Click on Generate, and it will produce four avatars with a microphone. The results should be pretty good. I'll download the last one. We have now finished generating the avatar. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Now let's generate the script using ChatGPT. For this tutorial, we'll use ChatGPT, but normally, I recommend writing your own scripts first. You can then use ChatGPT to improve the flow, punctuation, or any other aspects. I'll paste a prompt to generate a simple script with ChatGPT. We'll ensure that the output is clean so you can copy and paste it directly into your voice generator. Once you've generated the script, Make sure it's formatted correctly so you can copy and paste it directly into your voice generator. Here we are in Eleven Labs. They offer a variety of tools such as text-to-speech and speech-to-speech, -speech, and they also allow you to generate sound effects. If you want to try new voices, you can use the voice library to discover some great options. I've selected a few of my favorites from here. In the dubbing tab, you can translate your video or audio from one language to another, and it works pretty well. A link to the tool will be in the description. Now, I'll go back to the text-to-speech section to generate the voiceover. I don't need a text this long, so let's use less text to generate a shorter voiceover, which I think is enough for this demo. 
verify that the settings are correct, and then click on Generate Speech. Finally, download the generated audio. To modify the voice, we are going to use Ease US. I have some great news for you. I got a free license that will work for the first 100 activations. So, if you activate within those 100, it will be completely free for you. The license will be in the video description. But before we continue, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. All the voices here are really fun to use. For example, I can click on the Robot tab and enable Hear Myself, so you guys can hear me. I'll show you a few of them. I am a robot. This is PCOS. It's pretty free fun. Next, we have the option to import the file we generated using 11 labs into the voice changer. The file is being imported now. Now that the file is here, we can select a great voice for it. Let's try a few of them. Think of it as a super smart assistant that can help you with a wide range of tasks. Using ChatGPT is really simple. You type in your question or prompt and ChatGPT responds. But to get the most out of it, here are some tips and tricks. Tip number one, be clear and specific. When you ask ChatGPT something, it's one of as clear and detailed as possible. Instead of saying, tell me about history, you could say, tell me about the history of ancient Rome. This helps ChatGPT give you a more accurate and useful response. Tip number two, refine your questions. If the first answer you get isn't quite what you were looking for, don't worry. You can always refine your question. For example, if you ask, what are some good books? And you want books on science fiction? Follow up with... What are some good science fiction books? Tip number three. Use ChatGPT for a variety of tasks. ChatGPT can help with writing essays, brainstorming ideas, learning new topics, improving your language skills, and even coding help. The more you use it, the more you'll discover what it can do. Hey there, welcome to- Wow, that was really fun. On the main tab, we have a few options to enable and disable Hear Yourself mute the microphone, or stop changing the voice. In the fourth tab, we have the option to use multiple voice changers at the same time. Let's try some of them and have some fun. Remember, if you want to get it for free, I left a valid license in the description for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to export the file when you're done. It's time to animate the avatar, and for this, we are going to use HeyGen. Here we have the option to use any of their avatars, which are really good, or we can upload our own avatar. To get started, go to the video avatar section, click on photo avatar, then click on upload. You also have the option to generate an avatar using their tool. Once the avatar is generated, click on edit avatar. Here, you have a few options to change the view. I prefer to keep it in the original form, but you can choose the square or circle versions if you like. After making your selection, click on save as new. Next, click on the new avatar, then click on Create with AI Studio, and select the landscape video form. Remember, a link to the tool is in the description. Remove the demo text and upload the audio that we generated previously. If the video is too long for only one credit, trim it to last just one minute. Now you can submit it successfully. It will place you in a queue that lasts for approximately two minutes. Once it's ready, you can download it, and it's ready to be used in your video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot to me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.